Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to start carving out the arms. So what I did was I took a um, about oh maybe an inch to an inch and a quarter up, put a marking on either side for the arms and then drew a line down this way and one parallel to it and then up. And then I measured this the same way as well with my finger that it's the same width as you can see on one side when I flip it over it's the same size I use the tip of my finger there that helps to know exactly where that is now I see I'm a little off on that so let me make sure both of these are okay and I have them going in now I wasn't sure what I don't really have room for a balloon you can put a balloon in there if you like um, him holding a balloon but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a flower out here he's going to have a kind of a wavy they have kind of like a a wavy uh, neck top to it I can't explain I don't know what, what you call it but you'll see as we go along and then I also marked pretty high for the top of his shoes because the shoes are going to be kind of big and overblown and then this is going to come down and in. So let's start with uh, where the arms are. Let me get my spray here. Uh, the spray that I use again is a 50% rubbing alcohol and 50% water. And the rubbing alcohol is a 70% strength that you can buy at any Walmart. Let's just spray it up a little bit. His head's pretty well done. We've got to do his hair, make it look like a curly hair. And we'll probably make that a red or a yellow color when we go to paint it. You'll see it as it emerges. So what I did here is I did a stop cut. All right. We're just going to come in a little bit here. It's going to be kind of tight doing it there. And we're going to go underneath where the elbow is right there. We're going to bring this up. And we're going to bring that down. Just going to chop that out a little bit. Whoops. I didn't mean to knock the camera over a little bit. We're going to do the same thing over here. Now they do have baggy pants. There's so many variations you can do with this, just like with the scarecrow that I created, um, that I carved a few weeks ago. You can do a wide variety of things, and um, all of it's okay. You know that that's the beauty of this type of carving. When you do caricatures, you can allow for a lot of things that wouldn't necessarily be right in if you were doing realistic stuff. But, you know, if you're doing it this way, it's fine. And then we're going to bring the back down a little bit. All right. Just like so. Um, one thing you may want to do is, as you're starting this, you may want to put a little line across here and kind of from corner I'm going from the elbows here corner to corner to give you a, a kind of an idea how far you're going in from both sides we're going to just bring this down a little bit make sure it's kind of straight with the same amount and one way to measuring that is to you know use your finger as a measuring tool of like leaning it up against and you know that's there's nothing wrong with doing it that way all right I'm gonna just leave this kind of big here we're, we're not gonna do anything right there yet we're just gonna bring this in just like so all right we're gonna take this point off as well all right we're gonna put a center line separating his shoes anyway all right we'll separate it up here but this is all going to be covered by with his hands coming out around this flower and you'll see that in a second here all right so we're going to put a little line down the center here and fall finally has arrived uh, which is wonderful been nice and cool here lately I've been working on my home at home here painting and just having a 
doing a lot of work outside work since the weather has been nicer and uh, it's been a real blessing to be able to work without worrying about the heat so I'm coming down a little bit and I have a feeling I'm not going to finish everything outside that I want to paint before the real cold water weather sets in we've had some rainy days here again that's why I'm here um, I let this go for a couple of days because I had work here to do all right so what we're doing uh, let's go back we'll scoop this out a little bit more all right now we're going to round this off a little bit up here all right so we're going to get down just a little bit further okay good and the same thing here we're just going to kind of scoop this up a little bit more we're going to take out behind the arms here a little bit I'm going all over the place sometimes when I do a carving you know I, I pretty well stick with the head first I figure if the head doesn't work out there's no sense of me kind of wasting my time on the rest of it but everybody's different when they when they do these carvings um, some people will do a little bit of everything as they go along and I'm kind of doing that now uh, with the body because sometimes you need to do it to try to proportion things correctly because if you're just doing the shoes then you realize well maybe I should have cut more of the legs off here and there you know it's really just proportioning things okay we're gonna go in here and we're going to make our cut for the arms so we're going to come down remember turn it and bring it around so we're going to just chop this out he's going to have a little bit of a stomach on him probably so you know yeah. we're trying to make him kind of a goofy looking um, clown I'm going to bring this hand, arm up a little further a little too short for my liking see and that's what I see when I work on these things and go ahead and do the other side the other arm and I go in pretty deep the first cut but if you don't get a clean cut the first time that's one thing you don't want to do is try to pull stuff off like I just did all right and try to slice it off go back and make that cut again like I'm doing now because it's always easier to go back and recut it than it is trying to do it all in one shot. You know, you're taking pe little pieces of wood off. You're not hacking it with a with a saw or whatever. You know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. All right. Just going to round this off a little bit. We'll put our little design in here in just a second. But I need to do his arms a little further. So we're going to come down underneath here. I see we're almost out of time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and we'll be right back. 